<laughs> Good morrow, geeklings. I have missed you deeply from the bottom of my loins. Rhymes with coins. Slip a coin to get to my loin. Today's Geekgasm, we will be doing things a wee bit differently. As you may remember, the last time that I graced you with the majesty of my presence, I opened up the comments section below so that you guys can throw some topics at me for our very first Viewer Appreciation Day. Why, you ask? Well, it's because I appreciate the holy shit out of every last one of you. Except you. You know who you are, bitch. Truth be told, I halfway expected to open up the good old troll bridge and that half the comments would be riddled with... That and allusions to donkey shows or something. Sexually perversive titties. Something. Dicks? What? We definitely had some good feedback, some of which we shall be highlighting today. Our first suggestion comes from Irish Boondock Fan. I was wondering if you were planning on doing a review of the new Aliens game about to come out. Beer, potatoes, corned beef, clovers, and blue moons. I'm well aware that I added that last bit. And I'm even more aware of my shitty Irish accent. Was that even Irish? <laughs> well, Irish boondock fan, I have heard your plea, so this next installment of good! Shite is just for you. It took seven years for Gearbox software to develop Aliens Colonial Marines. And when you consider that it takes about the same amount of time to become a doctor, well then, that just makes us extra sad. Colonial Marines takes place soon after the credits are done rolling on James Cameron's classic. Fans of the series will definitely appreciate returning to the iconic set piece of the film and a whole bunch of easter eggs. Well, that's where the fun ends, folks. It's sad to say that video games, especially shooters, have been ripping off the Alien franchise for many years. And sadly, they're doing it even better. At its core, the game is nothing but a subpar shooter, and after a few hours with it, I would rather have a face hugger impregnate me with a chest buster than proceed any further. Gah! This is much cooler than playing the game, because the game sucks! Ugh! I would say, if the latter happened... The AI is uh, laughable, and the game fails to fill you with the same hopeless sense of dread as the film did. Colonial Marines, after all the hype, will go down as another missed opportunity in the realm of movie licensed games. So our final verdict is SHITE! Game over, man! It's game over! Our next topic comes courtesy of Mr. Chris Tuck. Dude, I absolutely love doing the fifth element. And, 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 can I ask you this? How does Jackie Chan really smell like? I imagine it to be a combination of Big Red and oysters. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Um, Mr. Tuck asks, Can we talk about Ghostbusters 3 yet? Well, uh, it is Viewer Appreciation Day, and uh, my answer is a resounding maybe. I have touched upon Ghostbusters 3 in the past, and I do see it as one of those potential projects, you know, to go back and forth on much like Bill Murray himself. And, you know, the new Ghostbusters makes a kid inside of me jump for fucking joy, but it also fills the bitter nerd in me with dread. The project has been in development hell forever, okay? And for Christ's sakes, one of the early concepts for the film was to have the Ghostbusters literally go to hell. Dan Aykroyd has said that the film will feature the old Ghostbusters training a new team with the likes of Anna Faris and Eliza Dushku. Yuck. I'm not a prostitute. I was just brushing my teeth. Nothing against those ladies, but after Murray, Ackward, and Ramus, it's like going slumming for hood rats. This new team concept was already done in the cartoon Extreme Ghostbusters. And that was a disgusting bit of ectoplasmic residue slathered across the Ghostbusters mythos. Ghostbusters is indeed Ackroyd's baby, so I have a really hard time thinking that he would shit on its legacy irreparably. However, I can't help but think that this project should stay dead, trapped in a containment unit in the depths of Hollywood. Just... Yeah. Yeah. Why not simply develop an animated movie or series featuring the original characters? Stupid bitches. Our last request is from Trav1887. And I'm guessing that is his birth year. So Trav... That makes you our oldest viewer at 126 years old. Odin be praised! Trav asks, I would like you to touch on retconning in comics. Positive or negative opinions? Okay, well first of all, for those of you who are not familiar with the term... <laughs> Wow. 
retcon stands for retroactive continuity. And essentially, it is an alteration and oftentimes contradiction of established canon or mythology, so an audience accepts the information as if it was always the status quo. The very nature of a retcon totally seems like a cop-out, doesn't it? You find yourself written into a corner because of rules that have been established before and go, Fuck you! It wasn't like that! It was actually like this! So, haha! There you go, bitch! Like any plot device in comics, it is a double-edged sword. There are some great uses that really excite you as a reader, like Bucky Barnes surviving World War II and becoming the Winter Soldier, or Hal Jordan's possession by Parallax. On the other side of the coin, you have the 20-year erasure of Spider-Man with Brand New Day and Superboy Prime literally punching reality, thus creating the multiverse. And many a migraine-induced nosebleed. Oh my god. It's coming down and it's hurting so much. But retcon is the nature of comics, love it or hate it. Well, my lovelies, don't fret if I didn't get to your suggestions this time around. I'm gonna try to do this whole request thing a little more often. And I'm clearly trying to do some kind of samba. Okay. Thanks again to everyone who contributed comments, and thanks to all the viewers, including the trolls. You're all so cute and hairy, I just can't help but want to pinch your cheeks. Hey, you cute little troll. Who's a cute little troll? Who's a cute little troll? Oh, you're so cute. I just want to pinch your cheeks and I'm talking about your ass. <laughs> Continue to like, subscribe, share, and spread AC and geekasm like the herpes. Until we meet again, stay geeky, my friends. Hold on, my weave isn't in the place it should be, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, you know what? I, I understand. I, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Wig bangs. Oh, I can't deal with the wig bangs. Woo! Hope that didn't make my mic peak. My mic. Does it sound super sexy when I talk like this? Or are you just annoyed by my voice? Which means garbage in my Jenny language of sexiness. Annoyed by my voice. <laughs> oh, you little trolls are so cute. Your little keyboard clacking and your sock fapping and your little hairy heads. I just want to pinch you in the cheeks. Who's a cute little troll? Who's a cute? Who's a cute? Who's a cute little troll? Who's a cute little troll? Who who did that? Who did that? <laughs> okay, sit. Can you sit? Can you type? How fast can you type? Oh, 114 words per minute. Oh, you're so cute. Who types 114 words per minute? Who does? Who does? Who types 114 words per Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You're so fucking fuck you.